Ladies and gentlemen, you know, the Pope just wrapped up his trip to Canada recently, and he is talking about retiring or possibly slowing down. You know, he can't get around like he used to. He's in that wheelchair. So traveling is just not the same for Pope Francis. Oh, it's not the same. Not anymore. So Pope Francis acknowledged Saturday that he can no longer travel like he used to because of his strained knee ligaments, says his week-long Canadian pilgrimage was a bit of a test that shows he needs to slow down and one day possibly retire. Speaking to reporters while traveling home, the 85-year-old Francis stressed that he hadn't thought about resigning, but said the door is open and there was nothing wrong with the Pope stepping down. Listen to the way he's talking, y'all. Oh, okay. I think he's dropping some hints. That's what I think. It's not strange. It's not a catastrophe. You can change the Pope he said, while sitting in an airplane wheelchair during a 45-minute news conference. Francis said that while he hadn't considered resigning until now, he realizes that he has to at least slow down. Yeah, he can't get around, not anymore. Not like, I guess, the way he wants to get around. I think at my age and with these limitations, I have to save my energy to be able to serve the church or on the contrary, think about the possibility of stepping aside, he said. I listen to the way Pope Francis is talking. I think he's ready to jump ship on this Catholic church. Francis was peppered with questions about the future of the pontiff uh, following the first trip in which he used a wheelchair, a walker, and cane to get around, sharply limiting his program and ability to mingle with crowds. He sprained his right knee ligaments earlier this year and continuing laser and magnetic therapy forced him to cancel a trip to Africa that was scheduled for the uh, first week of July. Mm. I guess he figured Canada was a safer place to go than Africa in a wheelchair. The Canada trip was difficult and featured several moments when Francis was clearly in pain as he maneuvered getting up and down from chairs. At the end of his six-day tour, he appeared in good spirits and energetic despite a long day travel to the edge of the Arctic on Friday to again apologize to indigenous peoples for the injustices they suffered in Canada's church-run uh, residential schools, you know, Catholic-ran Francis ruled out having surgery on his knee, saying it would not be necessary, um, and he just doesn't feel like it's going to help. Noting there are still traces from the effects of having undergone uh, more than six hours of anesthesia in July 2021 to remove um, part of his large text. Uh, Wow, 13 inches of his large intestines was removed. Wow. I'll try to continue to do the trips and be close to people because I think it's a way of servicing being close. But more than this, I can say, um, he said Saturday, in other comments aboard the papal plane, Francis agreed that the attempt to eliminate indigenous culture in Canada, though a church-run residential school system, amounted to a cultural genocide. Francis said he didn't use the term during his Canada trip 
because it didn't come to mind. I, I think they didn't want him to say that. He knows that was a genocide. You got a bunch of mass graves filled with children. And the sick part is there are pictures of them with nuns and priests, okay, all over the internet. Anybody can pull those pictures up. So it is no doubt who they were around before they died, nuns and priests. So, yeah, it looks bad. It Just like all of the other things concerning the Catholic Church just looks bad. So Canada's Truth and Reconciliation Commission determined in 2015 that the forced removal of Indigenous children from their homes and placement in church-run residential schools to assimilate into Christian, Canadian, constituted cultural genocide. Yes, and that's the question. Why does everybody got to be like you? I don't want to be like you. I, many people don't want to be like you. But why do y'all always take in your heads that somebody wants to be like you? It is the furthest thing from the truth. I'm, I'm sure before y'all stepped foot in Canada, those people were living just fine without you. So anyway, Francis said, I apologize and asked for forgiveness for this work, which was genocide. Suggested that he was not opposed to a development of Catholic doctrine on the use of contraceptives. Church teaching prohibits artificial contraceptives. I don't want to get all into that. I mean, I personally, I don't care what Catholics do with contraceptives. I'm not Catholic and I really don't care. So Francis noted that, um, you know, again, he apologized for what happened in Canada. And you can best believe he got a lot to apologize for slavery as well. You know, but I'm sure they have already told him not to do that, y'all, you know, because it seems like no matter what Pope is in there, they sure don't address that. And we know the Catholic Church was heavy, heavy into slavery, selling, buying, and abusing slaves. You were all in the midst of it. And it just seems like that is one of those topics that they will not address. They will avoid it like the plague like the plagues they're under right now. Yeah, they, they're avoiding it like that. But ladies and gentlemen, y'all gonna have to tell me what you think about the Pope dropping all of these hints about possibly retiring. Is it far-fetched? No, no, it really isn't. I mean, the Catholic Church has looked bad on this planet for a long time with all the child molestation and now you got the mass graves and people finding out over the years about how deep they were involved, deeply they've been involved in slavery and, you know, and you're looking at their hospitals and schools and, and see, that's the problem. All of the evidence is still right here for us to see. That's the problem. You know, you want to talk about it was a long time ago, but all of the evidence of it is still all around us. But y'all, please tell me what you think. You know, I guess they take us for fools and just think we're stupid. We're not stupid. Probably know the history better than most of you. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.